opinion was the chapeau which looked like an Etonian topper after a bit of trouble with Harrow at Lord's. If there's one place that attracts for its beauty as well as its sport, it's Henley. And from Phyllis Court, the scene is a perfect picture. Mr. Baldwin, you can tell him by his bowler, continues his well-earned holiday and sees Leander and Zurich, far side, fight out the big event of the regatta, the Grand. The Swiss crew takes the lead and continues to draw away, while the Prime Minister completely relaxes in the bows of the launch and observes the opposition, represented by Zurich, win by a length and a quarter. There's a stir amongst the boats at lunchtime, for Henley, of course, is also a picnic, and a great time is had by all. Then the Diamonds final between Tyler of Thames and Ruffley of Zurich. It really is nice at Henley if you haven't got to row. Ruffley, the holder, is the only man in the picture and wins easily by three lengths. Another Swiss victory. What has happened to English rowing? And so a successful regatta concludes with an All-American final in the Thames Cup. Tabor Academy beating Kent School. The victorious crew's attempt to drown their cocks is, of course, just an old American custom. Their tremendous enthusiasm for the big match of the tournament, the men's